Hi folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com for this week's ROM of the Week. Check out Beanstalk Android 4.3 ROM. I know many of you are asking me, uh, where is Android 4.3? Now Beanstalk is pretty much built off CM 10.2. It is available for the AT&T version SGHI 717 which I've got here or if you have a, a Rogers Canadian i717R or if you have a GTN 7000, the International Galaxy Notes, uh, it is also available for that. Um, so definitely check it out for both of your phones. Comes with DSP manager, a focal camera that doesn't work too well, and also the camera will it might freeze up on you the first time you run it, uh, but if you uh, reboot it, it works fine just after that. So good thing camera works on these ROMs, and also it does come without Photosphere. This is the original camera it comes with. I upgraded uh, with the Photosphere uh, Android 4.3 APK file. Uh, I have it over at highonandroid.com. I'll also post it on my site so you can just download it. Um, you'll have to uninstall the existing gallery using Titanium Backup app, which is easy to do, and then simply uh, use a File Explorer app to install the new uh, Android 4.3 APK file, and you will have Photosphere working um, out of the box, which is nice. And other than that, um, this, is, this ROM is awesome because it builds on top of CM 10.2, uh, giving you some extra options like dark stark. Uh, if you go to system, you'll get a bunch of options uh, for a bunch of stuff. It comes with a beanstalk pie, uh, which gives you two layers of customization, your shortcuts. I have a full tutorial guide um, similar to this using the LMT launcher. Check that out if you want to know how to use that. I'm also Halo notifications, floating notifications from the latest Paranoid Android is on there. And you can uh, customize all of these things, navigation bar, a quick settings panel, your quick toggles, um, layout, all that good stuff. Almost like AOKP ROM control. Uh, but I really like the Beanstalk, it performs pretty good, especially for the AT&T Note version. Uh, and also AT&T version comes with uh, Holo Launcher HD, Nova Launcher. Um, and also even Xperia Launcher and also Expose App Settings if you want to run your favorite apps in tablet or phone mode or custom DPI mode. I also have a full tutorial guide on that. Um, watch that if you're new to all of this. Um, the GTN 7000 version isn't as refined but it is still pretty good. Um, I just feel the AT&T version is a lot better. It could be due to the fact that this is running Qualcomm and this is Exynos and Cyanogen Mod. I think they've kind of stopped supporting Exynos, um, sort of. Uh, but still nice ROM, both are great ROMs, and they'll definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. It can be a good daily driver, um, just know that there still may be bugs, I mean these are early beta versions, so just know that if you have important calls coming, um, just have another phone for that, I would say. Um, otherwise, you know, if if you need a stable ROM, go back to an Android 4.2.2 ROM for now, or you can just flash it, uh, back up your ROM, install it, and then you can restore your ROM back to whatever it was. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. Um, very exciting, Android 4.3 running on your notes. Uh, I'm sure you'll have a blast finding all the new features. Um, you know, there's a ton of new features. And yeah, do let me know what you think compared to 4.2.2 and other TouchWiz based ROMs. And as always, if you have a Note, uh, Galaxy Note, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. Also, I have a Note 2 site. Uh, it's at galaxynote2root.com uh, in case you don't know. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button there. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android 4.3.